Hey there, welcome back to our kitchen. I'm Jenny, one of Festival's Mealtime Mentors. Today we are making an irresistible brunch the whole family will love. We are starting with the chunky cinnamon bread from our bakery and turning it into a bourbon cinnamon French toast. So to get started, I have our bread already partially sliced. Um, like I said, this is the chunky cinnamon bread from our bakery and I really, really love it on its own, but it's delicious in this French toast. Right now, I am just slicing it into thick one inch slices. So you can see that it's pretty nice and substantial, but we want it that way because we want it to soak up all of this delicious like custard coating that we're going to be dipping it into. And if it's too thin, it won't soak up as much and you have the risk of it falling apart. So to move on to the filling then, we have kind of the standard ingredients of eggs, and milk. Vanilla. My favorite ingredient, bourbon. So that's kind of the secret ingredient in this. If you don't want to use bourbon, you don't have to. You can just substitute a little bit more milk so you get that um, same amount of liquid in there. Cinnamon. The toast has lots of cinnamon in it already, but this is like an extra little punch of flavor. And then some numb egg. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this a whisk and bring it all together. So this is a really simple recipe that the whole family can help out with. So I don't know about you, but I don't like being stuck in the kitchen by myself cooking and I like to get my son and my husband involved. So this is something that they can both help out with. It's not too complicated. Okay. And you'll see that I'm using like a shallow dish for this because we're going to be using the same dish to dunk in. I don't want to have to transfer it to a different pan. Okay. So you can see that this is all coming together nicely and I am using a shallow um, little dish today so I can dip my bread right in here. I don't want to have to whisk and then transfer it to another dish because that creates more work for me at the end of the day when I need to do all the dishes. So now I'm going to go ahead and take our nice thick slices of bread and put it into the liquid and it needs to soak for about 15 seconds per side. So while that's soaking I'm going to go ahead and spray the griddle that I'm using. Just a little bit of cooking spray. Now I can give this a flip. So 15 seconds is enough time for all of this delicious bourbon mixture to soak into the bread. So you want to get that goodness all the way through so it's not just the outside of the bread that's nice and bourbony. Lots of great flavors. And then I'm going to go ahead and transfer it onto our griddle. And we're going to let that cook for about two to three minutes per side or until it is nice and golden brown. Okay, so this looks good. It's a beautiful golden color. And we're going to do step two now of the cooking process. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but as I'm poking this, it's still pretty jiggly in the center. So the key to get rid of that jiggle and get this completely cooked through is to bake it. So, I am going to transfer these to my baking sheet here. And I have the oven preheated to 400 degrees. And I just need to bake this for about five to eight minutes or until that jiggle goes away. And that means that the center will be set and it will be like a nice cooked through custard. Yum, these look great. So it didn't take too much, about five minutes. And you can tell as I'm pressing the center, it's not jiggling anymore, it's nice and set. So I'm going to go ahead and start plating this. If you're making a really big batch, you can just fill up your oven with like three trays and bake them all at once. Or if you're lucky enough to have a second oven, you can keep that at 200 degrees and they'll just keep warm in that oven. And today I'm going to be serving the French toast with a little bit of whipped topping. 
maybe a lot of it, and some fresh sliced strawberries. But this is really good with whatever your favorite French toast toppings are, whether it is powdered sugar, maple syrup, bourbon infused maple syrup, sprinkles. You can really do whatever you like. Lay all of those toppings out and your family can kind of build their own adventure. So there you have it. I hope you give this delicious bourbon cinnamon French toast a try. For more holiday recipe ideas, visit festfoods.com slash holiday.